North Carolina is supposed to be trying out a new way to verify people's mail-in ballots, but it's still not happening. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh. Michael, the state is struggling to secure a company to do that work. Right. A new law requires state election officials to run a pilot program trying to test out matching people's signatures on mail-in ballots, but they're running into trouble actually being able to do that. While a large majority of people have gone back to voting in person since the pandemic, mail-in voting is still the choice for some. A new law backed by Republicans in the legislature called on the state to test a new way to verify the legitimacy of those ballots. The State Board of Elections is trying to find a company with the technology to conduct signature matching, but so far is not. We're doing everything we can. Elections Director Karen Brinson-Bell told lawmakers most vendors were not able to do it on the timeline set under the law. The legislature enacted it in the fall and wanted to report back on May 1st. She says they're trying again to find a company. Our goal is still to if we can't meet the May 1 report deadline, it at least should have a, a substantial report of, of progress and then be able to, to execute the pilot shortly thereafter. Republicans initially wanted this in place as a requirement this year. Democrats raised concerns about the potential for legitimate ballots to be tossed out and called for a pilot program first using ballots from the March primary. 31 states conduct signature verification. North Carolina currently requires you to get two witnesses to sign your ballot. Andy Jackson studies elections at the conservative John Locke Foundation and says at this point he doesn't expect signature verification to be in place for the November election. But I think it may be pushing this a little too fast to try to get these uh, results and then implement a full program this year. Earlier this year, the state randomly chose 10 counties, including Durham, to be part of this pilot program. Whenever it does happen, it will have no impact on whether votes from the March primary count or not. Ivan Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you.